It's generally considered a best practice to delimit string values in single quotation marks. For example, I'll put the word world into the variable a. There's a specific reason why you might want to use double quotation marks though. So let's put in single quotes, hello, dollar sign a, and then in y we'll use double quotes to do exactly the same thing. If we look at the contents of x, it says literally what we put in there. So when you use single quotes, PowerShell doesn't try to do anything fancy, it just takes exactly what you typed and puts it into the variable. When you use double quotes, however, PowerShell looks for the dollar sign character, and it assumes that any characters following the dollar sign up to the next white space are a variable name, and it replaces the variable with its contents. So if we look in Y, we can see that A, dollar A, has been replaced with world, which was the contents of dollar A. Now another reason to use double quotes is if you need to use single quotes inside the literal string. So for example, we might want to do something like the, uh, a SQL query, select all from table where column equals value. And because I've put that within double quotation marks, these single quotes are not delimiting the main string, they're simply taken as literal values. The reverse is true as well. If you want to say C equals, I need to say hello, then those double quotation marks will be taken as literals because they're within single quotation marks. Now there's kind of a, a little subtlety here. Um, let's take a look at this one. If we go back to B, and let's say that we wanted to put in dollar $A here. It's the outermost quotation marks that matter for the variable replacement trick. Dollar sign $A is within single quotation marks, but those don't count. PowerShell isn't looking at those as quotation marks, they're just literal characters. It's the outermost set that matters. So when I hit enter and look in B, you can see that it has replaced dollar $A with its contents. This is a really cool trick because it prevents you from having to concatenate a lot of strings to put together these types of, of queries or anything else. The other thing that only happens in double quotation marks is PowerShell looking for escape characters. For example, let's take X and in double quotation marks say $A equals $A. Now we know from the previous example that this is going to wind up saying world equals world, but I'm going to use the escape character. That escapes the first dollar sign so that it no longer has the special meaning of indicating a variable. Now it's just a dollar sign. So when we look inside of X, that first dollar sign will be preserved, and I get a nice little message that might be useful as debug output. You can also use uh, things like escape T to represent a tab character. For example, if you look at the help for export CSV, you can actually specify a delimiter other than a comma. So you're not technically creating a CSV file. If I wanted to create a tab delimited file, I'd run a command like that, and then export CSV, Oops, we wanted that to be CSV. And then for the delimiter in double quotes, an escape T will give me a tab character. Oops, and I didn't provide a file name. So if we go back and provide a path for the file name, that would be a TDF now, a tab delimited file. And that'll work fine. So if you want to learn more about those escape characters, the uh, topic is help about escape characters. And it lists several of them, including that escape T horizontal tab.